think it is a bit difficult to get others to see that fashion has no size limit. People thinking, you know, fashion is only for the tall, skinny, and beautiful, but I definitely think with a little bit more effort, you can make it work, and fashion is for everybody. Through fashion, Doris has found a way to express herself, but it's been a long journey to get where she is today. Growing up with dwarfism, it was really interesting because not only I, do I have dwarfism, I'm also Korean. We don't really like to talk about stuff, so it was kind of, my dwarfism was never really addressed. My parents helped me, I guess, with my dwarfism by not treating me any different. I don't know if it's because they're Asian and I have a tiger mom, but she didn't really expect anything less than the best from me. While Doris had the protection of her parents when growing up, she's found life with dwarfism much more of a challenge as she's grown older. I definitely think I face more bullying and harassment as an adult. I'm going about my daily life driving or filling gas and when they talk to me in a very patronizing childish tone it's I deal with it so much that I kind of have to pick my battles so usually it's just like an eye roll and I kind of have like a you're an idiot look there's one clear thing you should probably never say or use around a little person um, a lot of people really hate this word it's kind of like the N-word for little people, but we say it's the M-word, midget. It's very derogatory. For Doris, it's extremely important to dispel some of the myths that surround her condition. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have of people with dwarfism is that we are very helpless and we absolutely cannot be independent. Most little people I know, they're living very independent lives. While proud of her independence, Doris admits that living with her condition can be a lonely existence. Being born with dwarfism definitely affected my love life. I think maneuvering through all the fish in the sea is already hard in itself in the 21st century. But I think when you add dwarfism to it, it definitely makes it a little bit more challenging. I think it either goes one way or the other, like guys just see me as kind of like a cute little sister. Or the other end of the spectrum is like the ones kind of with fetishes. And I'm just trying to find like the middle ground. Frustrated by being patronized and misunderstood, Doris found a way to proudly exhibit her true self. I first started blogging in 2009. I was in college and I had bought kind of a long tunic, woman's tunic, and I thought it was really cute and I wore it as a dress. And I realized I can totally wear shirts as dresses. I was like, oh my God, my blog title. I love Doris's blog. I love reading her blog because it's so fun to read. She doesn't only talk about her fashion she also talks about, a lot about traveling, friends, photography, her drawing, and a lot of inspiring life quotes. My two main goals with my blog, first is to just express myself. I've always been a creative person, and I also do fashion illustrations. It was more of just showcasing my artwork as well as my outfits. And the other objective of my blog is to just kind of be like a resource for other little people. And while her blog has many facets, it always comes back to Doris's true passion, clothes. Doris can pull off any kind of style from girly to elegant and casual and edgy looks and she looks great in every style. Doris has learnt to be totally comfortable in her own skin and wants others to feel the same. Women might think, you know, if you show more skin 
want to wear like a tube top it's more sexier or if you do this it's more attractive but I think when you know your body type you just need to find what works for you and I would say don't just follow trends. Doris's blog has caught many people's attention which is leading to exciting new opportunities. I'm going to be a model for the International Door Fashion Show at Paris Fashion Week. If I can describe Doris in one word, I would describe her as very strong. Any hardship that she may go through, she never gives up and she is very inspiring to me. What I hope people will learn from my blog is that fashion really is for everybody and it's kind of like my title, I wear shirts as dresses, it's kind of a metaphor for everything in life. I hope that's what readers take away from my blog. Even as a little person, you can do whatever you want.